Hey there, Dr. Mark here. I've built a million dollar business around the objective side of nutrition, tracking calories and macronutrients. And you might be asking yourself why? And the reason is because it works. When people monitor their food, tracking what they eat to some targets that fall in line with their goals, it's super effective for getting weight loss and muscle gain results and teaching people how to eat. But I'm no snake oil salesman, it does have some drawbacks. Like it takes a long time, it can be a lot of work, in some cases it's inaccurate. But what if there was a better way, a magical way, where you could just take a picture of what you're eating and track it that way? Today we're talking about the future of macro and calorie tracking and it's going to blow your mind. Recently a nutrition tracking app came across my desk and immediately I knew it was different because it solves a major complaint or problem with tracking. Check this out. In the airport doing some traveling today, one thing that makes traveling super tough when you're trying to keep up with nutrition, get a specific result is the airport food and you know guesstimating certain meals. I've come across an app that does a really good job, brand new technology around estimating calorie and macronutrient intake based on a photo. There's some new technology involved, it's super cool. Before I show you the science of how this works, let's revisit nutrition tracking and why it's so important. Now, if you're hearing this kind of stuff for the first time, nutrition tracking is the process of tracking what you eat and taking the food you eat and logging it and turning it into numbers like calories and macronutrients. How much energy your food has and where that energy comes from, the large components of our food, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Normally someone won't just track what they eat, they'll track it to individualized targets that fall in line with their goals or what they're trying to accomplish. If you're a nutrition coach, you know the effectiveness of this approach. There are many studies that show that tracking what you eat is highly correlated with successful weight loss and positive health outcomes. When people track calories and macronutrients without even any other dietary counseling, it can help them lose up to 5% of their body weight, which for lifestyle interventions, we're talking diet and exercise is about as good as it gets. But for it to work, you want it to be accurate, meaning you're weighing and measuring your food. If you're not doing this, you're just guesstimating, which can be good, but not perfect, so it starts to lose its accuracy. Now, there are some drawbacks to tracking. Tracking meals and entering new recipes can be a lot of work. It can be tedious. The number one complaint of this stuff is that it takes too long, which means it's hard to get people to do it consistently. Some people may find that they actually spend more time navigating new technology, leaving less energy to pick and prepare proper nutrition decisions. Plus, we have the accuracy component. Some apps will have user-generated food data, which means what you're eating and tracking, they might not be the same thing especially in unverified databases. But food labels, they're not much better, even if they are government regulated. What's on the label of what you eat can be inaccurate. Foods can be labeled with numbers that have more or less calories, up to a legal limit of around 20%, but sometimes way more. So there are some issues here. In the inaccuracy part, it is manageable. And in my experience working with 2000 plus clients, not really the deal breaker. But we also have the time it takes to track, which is a big barrier. Both of these can make tracking tough to stick to or at least wrap your head around. So what are some of the solutions? Number one, you go old school. You weigh and measure all of your own food, you use a verified database and you log it. But that's hard and people have tried to make calorie and macro tracking more accurate before. With things like number two, some sort of smart scale. Products like a smart scale will allow you to weigh and track and analyze what you're eating right on a scale. But with this solution, you need to take the scale everywhere with you. So it's not really freeing. What if there's something that you carried around with you all the time that could replace this? I don't actually keep that in here. That was just for effect. Ah, can you use number three photos using your phone with the camera included? Many people have tried to apply computer vision to make photo tracking of food possible before, but it didn't work because there was no large scale training data available. Basically, you need tons of images of food with accurate nutrition information, but there was nowhere online where you could actually find or access this until Wade Norris comes on the scene. Who's this Wade guy? Wade was burnt out from making products that didn't improve people's lives. So he did what any smart person would do, which is Googling the top 10 causes of death in the United States to try to find the most impactful thing he could spend his time on. And the pretty clear answer was diet and nutrition. And he started to work on his diet and nutrition solution, which meant for him starting a team at Google AI and essentially willing a database of nutrition information and photos into existence by brute force. And strangely enough, my bodybuilder friends have been tracking everything they eat and posting it on social media for like 20 years. 
Maybe they should have got them to do some of the legwork. Anyways, they manually curated 5,000 dishes, weighing out every single ingredient on a scale, and then used a robotic rig to take tens of thousands of pictures of everyone. And these weren't just my bodybuilder buddies, plain meals of chicken, rice, and broccoli. These dishes had all the challenging examples, like soups and stews, chilies, curries, different cooking oils, butter, and all the obscured ingredients that you can't really see. The result, they use this data set to train an AI model to predict calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fat from a single photo. That got twice the accuracy of a professional nutritionist. They showed in their research that average users when tracking got calories wrong around 53% of the time. Professional nutritionists got about 41% mean caloric error, but their approach, it got around 16% error. And this is where the app Snap Calorie, which you've seen me allude to all video was born. You guys ready to geek out with me for a second and see how this thing works? Let's do it. Okay, before you start thinking, how much did Dr. Mark get paid to talk about this app? It was nothing actually. I'm a fan of innovation and this technology is super impressive. So I felt compelled to talk about it on my own dime. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so this is what you see as the viewer. This is inside the app and you're about to log something for your lunch here. Gonna add it in and we got a meal here. Typical restaurant meal, unless you're worried about plating at home and you do stuff like this. Go over the meal, capture a photo. We got some chicken, some rice all underneath, obviously some sort of sauce take a photo of it, and there we go. How this picture so carefully calculates portion size is using something called LIDAR, which is an acronym for light detection and ranging. The app uses lasers and depth to get a sense of what is actually on the plate, getting a sense of how much food is on the plate, and then AI determines what that food is, and voila. You have nutritional information, and you may have seen this technology elsewhere, like IKEA's wildly successful place app where you can see a couch in your own living room to see if it fits the space. It's nearly the same thing and technology. Here's the same view of the picture that you took of that chicken dish from the app's point of view. So what you're seeing the reviewer do here is marking the edges of the food, the top, the bottom, left, right, the top and the bottom again, and the depth sensor on the phone, it knows the exact dimensions of everything inside the photo. It's really similar to how the tape measure app works on your phone. And then by marking these edges of the food, what the reviewer on this side is doing is measuring the exact volume of food in the photo. When it turns to what you saw with that RGB uh, depth image with all the colors, and what happens in the last two clicks there is that the depth of all the food is in the actual photo. So if we were looking at chicken here and we we're looking at something like a bagel, uh, you don't just know the diameter of the bagel, you know the exact height of the bagel. And that's how it is able to calculate those portion sizes so effectively. So impressive. All the benefits of nutrition tracking without any of the headaches. Where I see the biggest benefit of this technology, and this is my bias, is guesstimating and logging social meals. This is the perfect solution for when you have no control over what you're eating, but you're still wanting to track and log it. You know, when you're eating out at someone else's house and you don't have really control over the ingredients or what's in it, you can just snap a picture of the food and it's gonna do a much better job of estimating those macros and calories than you would on your own. For that reason, I am really confident that some combination of food logging and photo-based tracking is the future of calorie and macro tracking. So I encourage you to check out Snap Calorie, which I've linked up in the description below, and let me know what you think. Now, as great as all those tips are, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'll have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. We're talking food tracking apps today, so watch me pick apart the pros and cons of all the MyFitnessPal alternatives. So make sure to check it out now, and I'll see you in the next video.